Hello friends, welcome to this channel. Uh, from today onwards, I am going to start a new course called English for Competitive Exams. So, this is the week 1 assignment of uh, the course. So, let's see the solutions for each and every question. So, they gave paragraph uh, for uh, first, uh, first to fourth questions. First four questions, this is the passage. So let's see the first question. What is the author of the passage uh, primarily concerned with? So the answer for first question is option A. Introducing the socio-cultural background of scholarship regarding American literature. Moving on to second one. Why does the author talk about the Scottish critic Sidney Smith? So the answer for second question is third option. To give an example of prejudice against American culture and literature. Moving on to third one. Which of the following words are similar in meaning to the word exaggeration in the passage? So the answer for third question will be hyperbole. That is fourth option. In the next one, state true or false. American writers like Washington Irving and James Fenimore Copper, Cooper found readership in home and abroad only because their writings appealed to audience worldwide. So the answer for fourth question is false. And moving on to the fifth question. Here for, for, for both uh, fifth and sixth questions, this is the passage. So let's see the fifth one. What does the word warrant mean in the passage? So the answer is fourth option, sanction. Sixth one, which of the following human experiences does the author imply to be crucial to our steady existence? So sixth question answer is first option, remembrance of suffering. And from 7th to last question, this is the passage. So, let's see the 7th one. Which of the following words is nearest to the meaning of the word consideration using, used in the above passage? So, for 7th question, the answer is first option, deliberation. And 8th one, which of the following text is being discussed in the first passage by the author? The 8th question answer is Third option, the Lord's Supper. The Lord's Supper. And ninth one, the authors mentioned in the two passages above belong to which of the following literary movements in the 19th century, United States of America. So for ninth question, the answer is fourth option, transcendentalism. I'm sorry, transcendentalism. It's too lengthy, right? And moving on to the final question, that is 10th one. Which of the following words is the farthest to the meaning of the word desiccated use it in the pas above passage? So for 10th and final question, the answer is fourth option, that is moist. So friends, these are the solutions for week one assignment. Hope you feel the video helpful. If you feel the same, please uh, subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. So I'll try to reply to those valid queries. So for further videos, please uh, keep supporting our channel. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.